Hey guys, it's Crystal Tantric Yogi here, and this video is about healing from heartbreak. I thought this was a really perfect video for me to make because recently I have been experiencing um, a lot of heartache, and um, in probably in the past 16 years, I have had some pretty substantial heart breaks that I've had to recover from, and I've learned a lot from them, and especially it being the holidays, and some of us may be feeling lonely. I thought this was a really good video to make. Um, and heartbreak sometimes is not just with relationships, it could be with children, it could be with a career or a dream that you had that you thought you were gonna do that you had to let go of. But I am centering this video more around relationships, but it can apply to things outside of romantic relationships. So the first thing that I think helps us heal from heartbreak is just having a new perspective on relationships in general, especially romantic relationships. So just so there's this idea that we are sold in fairy tales and movies that there's one great love for you and you and you have this one twin flame, one soulmate and you'll never experience any love deeper than that. This may in some cases be true, right? But if it was only true that we ever love once in our life, then that's kind of bleak, right? We may have a life partner that is more suited to spend our whole lives with, possibly, but most of us are going to love more than one person in one lifetime. And so that should inspire you. It shouldn't make you feel like your experience with love with one person is any less valuable than a love with someone else. And that should also console people who, if you were with someone and they left you and or they fell in love with someone else, it does not necessarily mean that they never loved you or that you were not worthy of love. Love is meant to be experienced, I believe, in multiple different ways. Um, and everybody loves different and everybody's experience with love between different partnerships is gonna be different. And I think the universe has designed it for us to be open to experiencing different types of loving, even romantic relationships with different people. Depending on how open you are and what your life's journey is, you may only have one or two great loves in your life or you may have three or four or five. It really just depends. Some of them may be at the same time and some of them may be, you know, um, consecutively or spread apart but this idea that most of us will only love once in our whole entire life is not practical and for most of us it's not true the other thing when it comes to changing your perspective on how you see love and helping you heal is to understand that relationships are meant to make you conscious not to make you happy a lot of us are seeking happiness um, in our relationships and we should be happy in our relationships but your partner is not responsible or your romantic love is not responsible for your happiness you are accountable for your happiness so this should be consoling if you're going through heartbreak you don't have to lose all your joy all your peace all the things that make you happy once a relationship a romantic relationship or a love affair is over it might hurt <laughs> and if you love somebody and you're going through heartbreak for sure for sure it hurts and it takes time to heal but if you know that you're accountable for your own happiness and your relationship serves a purpose to make you aware of something to so that you can continue to build on your happiness that should help you heal and um, going into and that goes into the third thing and that is developing and focusing more on self-love so once you're going through heartbreak, it's really a good time to focus on self-love, which I feel comes through self-reflection. So it doesn't mean you have to be celibate or not date forever. Healing takes time and you should take time to heal, but it's what you do during the time of healing that's most important, not necessarily the amount of time that you take for yourself. So being really reflective, you know, um, seeing what it was that your partner or your love affair was trying to make you more conscious of and taking that and creating working on creating a life that really does make you feel more fulfilled and be more happy that takes a lot of self-reflection and if you can take the focus from 
a person leaving you or the actual situation that's breaking your heart your heart and the energy and the sadness and the grief that comes with that um instead of focusing so much energy on that it's good to be take that some of that energy at least or the majority of that energy and work on being reflective on what can you do to make sure that you're able to cultivate happiness in your own life so that when it's time you are ready to be in another loving relationship but still have a little bit more control over your own happiness and also being more in control of helping you feel better even when you're not in a love affair. Um, and the last thing that I think really helps with healing um, after a heartbreak is really somatic work. So getting moving, um, going, having another activity, physical activity that allows you to release emotions and release tension. Um, even if the movement, uh, physical activity in the body um, brings up, you know, emotions. And that's why I love yoga and I love Tantra yoga um, specifically because you can do an intentional mind body exercise to help release pent up emotions, whether it be grief, whether it be sorrow, whether it be anxiety over, you know, this new, these new feelings that you're overwhelmed with to mindfully allow those energies to flow through specific yoga postures, breath work, meditation. And with Tantra yoga, we're able to also use your sexual energy to kind of bring up those emotions a little bit more quickly and release them. It's also really important, especially if you were sexually active with a lover, to start to unpack that those sexual experiences and emotions um, that you had so that you can make room to be open for the next love of your life. And in my next Tantra Yoga class, I will be centering um, the yoga sequence and intention around healing from heartbreak. So if you would like to attend my Tantra Yoga class, please go to crystaltantricyogi.com and register for a Tantra Yoga class for this Wednesday, uh, December 2nd, or you can go to the link in my bio if you're on Instagram and it will take you right to um, registration for my yoga class. If you have any questions or have any issues with my website, please contact me at crystal at, crystal at crystaltantricyogi.com and I will see you guys next time.